Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to almost Christmas time of 1725 in Ostrov. The world has discovered the Americas, and quite a few are, are trying to find ways to move out there, but these guys decided to move here. <laughs> Brrrr! Anyway, what to do this time? Um, Alia brought up point that was kind of interesting our, our little one pixel field right there I couldn't click on it no matter what I did I still can't but um, brought up that if I were to go to the farm and look over here there it is and I can choose this and here it is it's right there centered on the screen 100% of everything wants to grow wheat there I wonder what would happen I'm worried about it being a, a, a game crash Worried about it uh, having a, uh, a formula associated with it. It can't justify, and, and yeah, all of a sudden my screen goes black. So we can demolish that from here, right? Gone. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, I've had a rethink over here. I'm trying to just come up with long term solutions before the problems arrive. I want to get a lot more houses in, I want to get more people in. To do that, you have to have two things. You have to have lots of food, and you have lots uh, lots of jobs. So I think we have quite a few jobs. We can't satisfy half of them right now. So jobs are not a problem. Food is iffy. We've invested a lot of these fields into the production of sunflower. Sunflower is going to go over here, which you already have run out of, right? Sunflower... Sunflower, yeah, you're out. Um, oil has been brought over here, 14 of 15. The town has none. And this stall has a little bit left. Reserved, 0.02 of sunflower, so you are stored. So you're grabbing the rest of this. Let's take you down by one. Just one. Well, run more. Put one more back into the town. A little divvy it up and put it into the, into the homes. A little bit of sunflower oil for cooking with. Yeah, right there. Um, so you don't need to be working anymore. So we've got another employee to toss into something else. Windmill, flour. I'm off topic here, but I'm I'm rabbit trailing. You have lots of wheat and wheat stored. Where are we at? Wheat, not much. About four and nothing left over here. Oh, there's nine over here. Oh, we did have one good crop here. Okay. Let's leave you at just one for now. But anyways, I was saying the sunflower oil, we don't need a worker there anymore. Um, we're, okay, we're, we're growing some flowers over here now to supply this. So we really don't need them over here. I had two fields that were alternating between sunflower and uh, fallow because sunflower requires 100% of the red nutrient. So you got to fallow it out afterward. So I've decided to kind of rework this a little bit and deal with our, our, our four or three main crops, our hemp and wheat and potato. Took the sunflower out, and the two fields that had sunflower, I decided to dedicate one just to potatoes because we do have a town that will buy potatoes. So there's essentially a cash crop for us as well. It's food if, if it comes down to that. And then hemp is the other big question mark. There's no hemp over here. The hemp's being processed clear over here. These guys have to go all the way over to here to grab the hemp to go all the way back over here. So do we scrap some of the sunflower and get hemp going? Or do we move the hemp to here? So I've decided to move the hemp over here. I can get two years of hemp in. I can kind of get three, I think. Hemp? No, I can't almost 70% of the blue. So that's going to leave, well, mathematically it's going to leave 31%, but we know that the growth bar never gets past about 5.8, so it's not really using 69%. It's probably using more like 50. So I can easily get two years worth out of that, including the extra, I think it was 17% that the plowing put back in. It, was, it wasn't a full 20%, but it was, you know, some fraction thereof. I might even be able to squeeze in a third year, does not have a great, uh, where, where was I? What was I, what did I click on here? Right there. So, hemp. 
Might be able to squeeze in a third year. It just will not be a, a full growth. You know, I bet you I could. I bet you I could. Let's do that. You're going to go to... Nope. You are going to go to hemp. Okay. And I deleted everything on, on this side of the orange. So all the orange bars were... No, I didn't. I missed one. So you... The, the pattern is wheat, potato, hemp, space, or fallow. If I get rid of you two, so we're potato, hemp, fallow, and wheat. Okay, that way they're all starting at the beginning again, and I can more easily wrap my brain around what's growing and what's to be expected next time. So we're going to have lots of potato growing, lots of hemp growing, and a wheat crop. And one should be enough for one worker to keep the, all the point ones of wheat coming in that these guys need to keep in their house. Because, or flour. Actually, you're quite low. Flour out here, though, we have one. 1 1.8, there's plenty. Yeah. You? Yeah. And you're the other one who hasn't got anything. Yeah. And you are set to receive labor by cart. Okay. So, crops and hemp down here and I would say let's move in the hemp what is that the weaver down here and we're gonna put more housing in this area seems like this is a good labor base to be able to supply this so let's do that it's a nice looking building too now what's over here that's another house okay so all these folks could essentially work right in here you fairly even, I guess, considering everything's off a little bit, you're close enough. Um, let's, hmm, that's the road. If I do back it up a little bit, then the road could still move right in front of it. Okay, we'll do that. And I'm thinking that's close enough right there. They're not going to try to sneak around back here, which means the road will be forced, at least to this point. Then it's going to cut the corner. Yeah. So you're over there, and you're... Hmm, how important? I would say you're that important. Now, what were you? You're the tannery. Hmm, we do have functioning weaver right now. So, well, that town hall is never going to get built. <laughs> yeah, I would say these three houses are the priority first. And then get that cow shed in. So we can split the herd and start doubling our... Our production theoretically I've got to see if that really works that way it probably just has more to do with how many bowls to, to cows there are um, they never did put anything into this now she or he is gathering uh, hay from there and water from there you know I before I started this episode I turned this on and I hit fast speed and sat there for a couple of months. I never saw milk pop into here one time out of all that time. So I don't know what is the requirement for milk. Is it a very specific season? Is it when they're out in the field? When do they get milk? And why is it not a daily thing? So there is no reason whatsoever to employ really even two people here except that it's possible that this one's going to be on break long enough for this to really drop when we get to, you know, 18, 19 cows in here. Don't know. Anyway, let's just do this for here. Okay. Um, what else? Let me look down at my notes here. So, yeah, we're going to move the, uh, the weaver over. Um, I wanted to put benches over in here. Just in case, I still haven't proven whether or not they take a break on a bench near their work and go right back to work again. I have a feeling that taking a break requires going to their house. That was one of these, right? There, okay. I have a feeling taking a break requires going home first. Evaluating to see if we need to go get firewood or something else like that. And then taking the break. I always see them go for work to the house. And then they go to a bench somewhere. So if there was a bench outside their house, that would probably shortcut any uh, any excessive walkings. But um, I don't know. I have not seen anybody sit on that bench. You know, it just doesn't seem to be a thing. 
But um, um, let's see, who was that? I guess it was Alia as well. Made the comment uh, last episode while I was um, trying to figure out where everybody was. It was in June, and and uh, we're trying to find labor. And she mentioned that uh, you know it was probably just a, a rare hot day in June, and everybody was sitting out at the the bench over behind the forest. And I got to thinking we do have a a little bench right over there. I wonder if when the snow goes away, if we'll find hints of a uh, of a trail, if they have actually been using this bench. But yeah, let's go ahead and stick a couple in here. But is there anything else I really need to do before I turn the speed up? Let's just check the jobs over real quick. We have 200 and some nails. We've got to get nails made. Okay, we don't have any calls for the carpenter, so that's a no. Uh, we have two job openings for, for wood. We definitely need logs brought in. Um, what are you guys still doing here? Get, get out of there. You're not fishing right now. The thatch is doing fine. No, it isn't. It's at five. We do need somebody processing that. Okay. Um, here one male worker which means we can get things brought in by cartload so that seems to work who's out of it nobody's out of a job right now nobody's looking for work right now let's put it that way um but there are plenty of jobs out there let's keep working through here we do not need a tailor right now the weavers actually have built up two and a half textile because we have one guy in there who's been bringing it by cart that's got to be it. He's working. He is where right now? He's just... Oh, he's going to grab a cart? Yeah, he's going to get a bunch more. Okay. So this is kind of functioning at the moment. Yeah. So we can leave it paused for right now. Um, but I do think long term we need to get the... Not the tannery. The weaver. Oh, let's move you over to there. And the tannery... You're actually there, and you're paused, and the tannery is kind of the next step. Well, yeah, tannery is, and then cow shed. So we do have a functioning cow shed for at least another year, maybe two, before we have to start slaughtering or start moving one or the other. So tannery, yeah, you can be opened up as well. Continue. Okay, so these three. Um, again, jobs. So we could put somebody into the tailor's workshop. There is enough textile now to keep them busy for a while. Um, these guys are doing a pretty good job. I'm going to leave them there until at least till the harvest starts. This is the oil workshop. We've already dealt with that. These guys are not needed here anymore. There's nothing for them really to do at all right now. You're doing what? You were... don't know. What would you be bringing? 9.8 out of 5 potatoes. So I'm assuming that people can come and raid these as they, as they need them now. Okay. Um, I don't know what you guys would be up to right now. You are basically in there. I'm going to send you guys out into the workforce again. Keep the manager in case a good deal comes through, which we don't have any of right now. Nope. Okay. So you... One mil... And that means what? I don't know. Did I ever figure that out? Maybe... I guess I'd have to speed the game up to really see what's going on. You are moving it. Nice. Didn't see the legs moving. It's like you just jumped on and just swung. <laughs> you're going to pop back in. And you're going to grab some wheat. Oh, that just went up. It's finishing. And now, okay. So that is the process of grinding it. Okay, that's good to have seen that. Anyway, one person in there is fine. The manager in here, there's a laborer still working on trying to clear these out. That would be nice to get that done. But this field is going to be fallowed. All right, let's work through this. That can go away. Actually, let's do the same thing here. Get all the orange all in the same bar. Potato goes away. And so the one that was potato is now going to be fallowed. And the one that was 
uh, wheat is going to be fallowed. Although, go back to this one. 80%, and we're going to plow. We could sunflower that out as well. Needs 100, we're going to gain 17, and they're not going to use the whole 100. I'm going to gain, use maybe 5 eighths of it. Huh. Let's do that. You are actually sunflower, and you are fallow. It's going to mess us up for next year, but we're going to get possibly one really good year of sunflower. I think so. I think we will shut down every business and just get these things planted and get this big burst in. So for the next year, we're going to process so much oil that we're going to be able to pull ourselves well out of debt and well back toward that 1,000 we had at the very start. Okay, so that's a good plan for there. Have we worked through all the buildings? You are a slaughterhouse. You're not really active yet. Two people are doing this, and we're still easily keeping up with it all. Okay. Um, out of work now. Still nobody. And I think we've covered everything, right? Besides construction projects. Two workers, and we're going to need two workers here. And I, I would normally not hire them till March, but I'm going to turn the speed up and I could very well forget that they're there, so I'd better do that. In fact, when that happens, maybe I had better put like four workers in each one. I'm assuming that they become, they take on the job of laborer as far as going out and sewing, but that means that four gives me a much higher chance that somebody's not going to be resting to start plowing the next field. So I think that would be a better idea. Last time we sat here and waited for quite a while for you know, more than just two fields to get plowed. In fact, the fields that did not get plowed, I believe, are the ones that, you know, timed out, ran out of time for the plowing or something like that. All right, and last time we ended right here, whatever happened? Sunflowers from brought in, good. So of these, sunflowers and clothes are available. Oh, clothes are on their way, good. A laborer position just opened up. That's interesting. So it opened up, and we're going to see who wants to satisfy it. Over here, we've got flour and fish. But, again, I can't f seem to get any milk out of this place. We saw it once. We saw it at the end when they brought all the cows in for the season. And then I never saw it again. Hmm. Okay. So with that, let's hit speed three and just let it go. We have three building projects going on. Now, what else is there to talk about? Now, Green Eyes brought up a question that I don't have an answer for. In Banished, when the kids grow up, they pair up, and the next house that pops up, they grab it. Here, when you build a house, like this one, the instant that it finishes, it's already claimed by somebody from way out over there, and after a while, they come riding in and get dropped off. Do... What happens to the kids here? When they grow up, do they just cease to exist? I don't know. So, we just finished that one, and the... Hmm... Kriv Oruko family is on their way in. In fact, they just arrived. Boom. Now she's going to take off and get some firewood, and he's going to go off and start working on a project or something. You know, he's probably already... No, they're both unemployed still. So they're both off to go and get supplies for the house. Uh, firewood's there. Let's see, unemployed, unemployed. Let's kind of watch this. What what says waiting? No, he's now a he's now constructing this house. Okay, she is bringing in the firewood, and the house is done, and he's no longer employed. Hmm. Slow back down. We're still in January. Let's open up some more. Houses? Hmm. What do we... We have lots of fish. And we do have lots of potatoes. We got... Well, we're still not... We're just not going below the, the 9.8 mark. If I put one back in here, would he start to unload the place? They don't seem to be coming to take it from here. Is it because... Well, we still have 0.5. Maybe when this runs out. Let's cancel that. Let's see what happens when that runs out. But 
do I open up these or do I open up more houses is what I'm weighing right now before any more time goes by. Weaver. Let's get everybody transitioned. Let's get that going. And then this one, we'll go ahead and open, we'll and open up both of those. And we'll see what they what they choose to do. You are the tannery, so you're going to get going. Slaughterhouse is in, so we could see that process this time. We could well do that. Uh, did we place the... Um, what's it called? The shoemaker. We never placed him, did we? We didn't. There's another family coming in. Um, I know what I was getting to. Green Eyes comment. Uh, you're heading into here. You are the Vedmid family. I kind of wandered through all of these houses. And the only... So what I'm thinking of is if a boy grows up and he marries, you know, their daughter, he's going to keep his name. The Colin... Kolosinchenko family. The only similar name I found out of the whole place was them and I think here and the Slipchenko family, but it's still not the right name. This is the Slipchenko family. Colin Slip, yeah, I can't, my, my tongue and lips won't do that. But none of the names are the same. I did find one child who is 18, he's a son. The boy. Ribnik, Ribnik family, Ribnik family. Hmm. So if in a well, I think one year here is four or five years of their aging. I think if we memorize that house right there, Ratslav, Ratslav, we'll see how old he is and if he even exists anymore. I'm thinking four or five years per year, and we've been going five years, and there were children the very first year. There should be some 20-year-olds eh, in here, 25-year-olds in here as kids, but all the kids are two, eight, two, four months, and two, you know, these are the original houses. Uh, we have a at the 115, uh, there's a one... There's a four, two years old, one year old. So these original houses right through here don't have any older kids. So did they cease to exist? Did they change their names? Did they leave? I don't know. So what happens to the kids? So we need to kind of follow Ratslav here and just see what happens to them. See if I can remember to pop in there. During the uh, during the episode, but after all of that, I should have had it running at three speed while I was talking, but I didn't. The shoemaker, I think you need to be down in here. That's the tannery right there. So, what would make sense road wise? Do you? Were, were, were we thinking about right here? I kind of think we were. So let's spin you around. Why did we not place you? don't remember now but if we put you about there that would kind of eliminate some of the cross traffic through here I think so you're gonna go there and I want to see you soon too but maybe as we get into about actually those four houses aren't even in the queue yet because we aren't working up in this area yet so I could even eliminate those just to clear up the queue if I wanted to middle of February all right so water's there and we have plenty water also for these houses they can go to here that's fairly close we have water over here which is fairly close to these guys messengers in Let's slow down what i'm learning is that you want to grab these messengers right at the beginning because that 25 20 yeah 25 day counter starts you might want a chance to alter some things and and you know, force some, some, uh, some changes beforehand. In this case, we can't. We don't have any sunflower in stock to try to quickly make some more. You know, ramp this up and, and get this going. We don't have that choice. We do have the 13 and 14 in stock. Let's sell. Let's sell 12 of it right now. That'll leave a little bit more so that our people. It's not just a matter of providing something for them you know I see we're out here completely 
So it's not just a matter of you know needing that 0.12 uh, sunflower oil in there. They're paying for that, which is also putting money back into, we have some stalled here, back into our budget, the local sales. So we had 735 uh, in local sales last time. So selling things like clothes and sunflower oil and eventually meat and shoes will really increase this and we'll have to depend less and less on trade 260 in order to not go in, in the red at the end of the year. Without doing any trade at all, we are middle of February and we're almost dead even. So actually we're holding our own right now. Interesting. So we're at the break even point. Okay, I like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and initiate this trade. There, sunflower oil will sell 12 of you. Right there, or 120, deal. They're gonna come get it. We need to at least have two people in here. And we'll make sure to hopefully get that done. We are hurting on people, aren't we? You guys are stalled because of what? Can't find wood. Because nobody employed. Well, one did and we're out of wood. Okay, so I've got to force some wood in there. There it is. Now will you guys stay? You are one of the newer ones and you're on your way to your new job. All right. Uh, nails are gone. No stored nails. Okay, we're gonna have to, yeah, we need more, we need more houses. That's all there is to it. Okay, keep it at one speed for a while. Let's think through the houses. You are not as important. Pause. You are not as important. Click. There we go. Pause. You. Pause. With those pause, I think they can go and... and are you almost done? Why are we calling for thatch already? Awaiting thatch. But we still have construction to do. Clay, where are we actually at on this? I can't tell what's dark and what's light. I think we're right here. That looks lighter than that one. Where are you? Cow shed? No. We have got nothing done. Okay. Which means there's wood and um, nails yet to be brought over. Okay. But I'm thinking that they can go through and raid these job sites when they're in, in pause mode of materials. So where we have delivered nails, there's a case of them right there. And over here, there's another case of nails. Yeah, where we have made all the deliveries, they can go back and raid them again if they need to. We need more people. It just That's all it comes down to. So we did place this one, and he needs to pause too. Okay. Lots of clay's been distributed. That's nice. That's that hard work is done. Where do we put more houses? I mean, front door's here. We could put a row right there. If there's room and make this the main road. Ooh, I kind of like that. Would it let us? Do we have the space for that? Let's find out. House. And spin you around. Looks like it just might work. Can I squish you? Oh, come on. So close. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's alt. You're actually fairly parallel, but you're really stretching sideways for some reason so if I squished you in you really wow you only work if I squeeze you sideways so if I go over here it won't snap hmm okay well I'm gonna get just two in right what are you in the way of right there man I gotta go wonky to do that because of this building and I can't demolish it so easily because they have to go and... Right? Maybe they don't have to walk away from this. Demolish? No, they're going to have to do the... Oh, continue. Getting resources on... Laborers are... So we still have to wait until we're not delivering, right? I move you and put you back in in a little bit. Okay, once you dump everything, then this is done. And I think this goes away because nothing has been built. Correct. Okay, now I can put a house in to this space. Why are you stretching out so weird? Alt. No. That is so odd. 
Although, if you look at that, it kind of, well, uneven terrain. I couldn't do it if I wanted to. I was going to say the fence aims back toward the other fence over there. It's like it fixes a mistake, but yeah, we're on a hillside. Nothing is going to go here, is it? Now there are spots where it will. I don't like the crooked back end. I'm going to try one more thing here. Back over here. Let's just be certain that there is no where for this to work. There's the one spot there and it's uneven. Okay. Can I turn you this way? Uneven. No matter how I do it, I can't get you in there. So we're not putting houses in there. Except for one area right over here. I guess I could put one house in. What will we do with the rest of the space? Let's see, let's rotate you just a touch more. Let me move myself over there. Something like that. Yep, gotta be like that. I can at least get the fence straight. Okay, that works. Well, I'll put in the one right there. What do we do here? How do we justify that look? What's the reason that we only got one house in there? Hmm. Can't work on the back of these either. Too much of an incline. And I hate to put another whole row out over here. I think it's time to get into this area. And we do have the one there. That's what everyone's going to be working on now. That's fine. Do we get any wood coming in? Yes, wood, 15, and 15 more is being processed, which means a log is in there somewhere. Okay, nails, we can't get anybody to work in here. Okay, I need to find some way to get someone to work in there. How do we do that? End of February, The uh, we're going to start, okay, did he ever make it? Right there, okay, fine. So two have to stay in there. We could fire you. Hate to do that. Sorry. But because that's our our good uh, hauler for that group. Does that satisfy this? It may be a while before we find out. Um, I do want to keep one in there at all times. This doesn't help. Still 10 cows in there. Um, trading posts. I've got nowhere else to really grab labor other than just shutting these all here they are dudes <laughs> there's half of our male population all in that one building site <laughs> oh well we need nails though we so need nails now i would imagine that we're going to be raiding some of these other sites to grab nails once we get that house built all right leave it Get the house built. It'll only help us in the end. And when we're completely out of nails, somebody is not going to be able to do this job anymore. And they're going to walk over and, and be thankful to find a, a nail pounding job. Yeah. But I'm going to keep it on slow. So that we can think about this. We need more houses. Is this the next area? It very well could be. So we've got one, two, that's a road. One, two, three. Curves, we could put one more right there. Um, house and spin ya, not that one. Too many buttons. Spin you around to something like that. And straight is flowing in like that. So actually these Front doors are all that direction. That's right. Right there. Straight is actually like that. It's a little more like this. It is hard to really tell. You know, the difference between this and this is negligible out here, but it doesn't really snap to it. I don't know how it's going to react to the rocks. Do the rocks stay permanently, or do they get 
chipped away at or what? It doesn't tell me that I'm adding obstacles like over here in the forest. Uh, pop you into there. Need to remove 24 trees. So I get the sense that the rocks are going to stay. Let's just kind of keep them, make as big as I can and still keep them outside the fence. So something like that. All right. So that is part of this group. And pause you. So let's work with that one house for now and then decide later what we're going to do as far as uh, which other houses open up. We have two boxes of nails there because we no longer have nails there or there. Oh, we're grabbing the clay to bring over here too. Nice. And no longer have nails over here. Okay. Uh, we do need to put back the... Don't know if it'll let me. The shoemaker. And we're not quite into March, but we're just about. We're just about. Hold on. Just about. Let's hire these. Two more there. And two more there. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get the trauma over with of having fired all these ladies and get them into their new jobs eventually. Um, over here, he's pretty much run out too. Let's send him out to, to hammer nails. Um, oh, oh, oh. We're filling it up. We're finally doing some work. Interesting. So we made it through a winter and they're willing to to talk to these things nice let's see if that continues see what uh, what caused that not mowing season okay stored I'm waiting to see if it pops in a laborer or if it really is the cowshed workers doing the work want got water hmm okay anyway March is just about to hit did we fill it well we got one more over here, we've got all four, and they're they're just waiting to get out there and and, uh, and drive that team of oxen. Um, nails, please. No. Okay. And we've lost a, a worker in the forestry. Mm hmm. The problem I think is that we've got the deliver by cart checked, and I think they're randomly taken on that job I really wonder if we we're going to have to eliminate that I don't know that we have the population to do it let's eliminate this for a while just let the the market worker do her own work um, debating though whether to do it for those four those two new ones clear out back behind me there it's a long way to go so I don't think I can justify that. You shouldn't be here. We need a lady working this one. Right there. So there's another able person to jump into that job, theoretically. Hmm. Okay. Let's kick the speed up a bit and just kind of watch how this works. We've got the plowing definitely going here. Got the plowing going over there. Don't feel like I got a lot done. We only made it through one winter. But I'm not in a race with this series. I'm not uh, trying to get to a large number of population within a certain number of episodes and get it done and move on to another game or anything like that. You know, the Banished series that I did when Colonial Charter 1.6 came out, I want 100 episodes. Just had a lot of fun with that. So I'm just going to keep going at my own pace and enjoying this. Anyway, we're are we sewing? We are half sewed. Okay. So a laborer did jump in. I still need nails. Ah, got nails going. We need to buy metal. We need to buy iron. You just finished. Okay. So, all right, that's all done. But do need to end this episode soon. Let's just buzz through here real quick. We have laborers. Actually, we've got to take you up now. We'll say four laborers because we're doing a lot more than we were planning on doing back then. So we take this one down to, say, six laborers. Okay. Otherwise, the four workers should be doing quite a bit of it, too. Uh, that was a house, which means nobody else is working on construction at the moment. So they should all be jumping in here or here or not. At least you'll be making uh, 
logs. Okay, that's good. Person's just moving in right there. Good. What I wanted to know was, so almost done. You're already working on this one. And over here, don't know what order we're in now. This is the fallow field of the day. Okay, that one is sowed. Growing has started. This one has not been sowed yet because apparently in order, this one was next. And plowing, as long as the plowing stays one field ahead all the way through. That's what I want to see. Okay. So with that, now fallow means grass. No. We have no fallow fields this year? We have no fallow fields this year. I was able to make use of all the nutrients that were available. So that's the only fallow field in the whole place. Wow, I never thought about that. Next time we'll get one. Uh, grab that. One fallow field right there. The following year we get a couple. Over here we're going to have quite a few. Now, we'll analyze this when we get there. But sewing-wise, I, I guess we are kind of okay by having the, the four people hired in here. We're able to do it without having to deal with laborers. Interesting. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Here. Done. 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 And almost. That's the last one. And we are still in the middle of April. Wow. That was really interesting. The workers did more than I expected. They kept their job and they kept busy. We weren't worrying about laborers randomly popping in and out or never showing up at all. But the workers did the job. So five workers here. Actually, we don't need you now, right? We're officially done? We are. Okay. Well, thank you, ladies. Appreciated that. But I don't need you now until harvest. Um, what did that do to the population? Only two are without a job right now. This one, sowing is now all done. Don't need any of you now till the harvest. So that now leaves, I think we'll reset, slow down, reset everything for uh, for next episode. But did the, the sunflower oil did leave. Okay. And I'm going to take you down to zero. We're not going to be able to do this again this year. And I want these two available for the town. But let's quickly reset all of all of what? Let me think about that. Trading post is done for now. I've got nothing else to, to sell, basically. You guys can go away. So over here, is there any hemp left? Hemp, none. Hemp, none. So there's nothing left to turn into weaving, right? Um, yeah, none. So hemp is done for the year, which means the tailor is done for the year. Okay, so that industry has been stalled until we get this this new plan going of sunflower and hemp. Well, sunflower over there and hemp over here constantly being made. Um, but over here, fishing. Ah, I missed that one. So we get fishing going, and there are guys desperate to get in there. We've got thatch already maxed out, but we're gonna we're gonna release all of this. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, they're just itching for something to do. Let's release these. Those. That one. Save that last one. Let's get the... Tell you what, let's just do it all. Let's see what happens. The new weaver, the new cow shed. We don't have any other goals other than making sure that somebody keeps his, his job here. So that's what's going to limit us. Don't really need the thatch going, except that they'll start delivering to all these. Okay. And you're right there. Okay. So the sewing got done. The buildings are, are queued up, ready to go. Um, there weren't any other jobs that I eliminated, right? Here is fine. I think so. Um... Not doing that one yet. And this is all taken care of. Okay, well, I think that's a wrap. And next time we'll see what other trouble we can get into. So this has been Noble Rambler. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.